Hi everyone, David Saad here from skygems.ca. Thank you all so much for joining me. I have on the turntable an absolutely sublime 1.18 carat cushion cut Colombian emerald. This is an elegant gem, dazzling piece. It is going to make a truly luxurious piece of jewelry that, uh, I mean, I can't wait to see it done. Specifically, I would hope that this becomes an engagement ring because when I bought this stone, I bought it and I said, this is going to be on somebody's finger every day for the rest of their life because it is just such a gorgeous piece. It's the perfect size, uh, about 7.1 millimeters uh, each way, 7.1 by 7.11. So basically exactly square and absolutely a stunner. If you are looking to make a piece of jewelry with this, or any of our other gems, reach out to me at david at skygems.ca. Uh, this in particular, what I'd love to see is just uh, two tapered baguettes, one on either side, make a really classic ring, double claws on it, and you're off. It's not a, I mean, it's not an, ex it's not a cheap ring to make, but it's not a ridiculously expensive ring to make because the diamonds only end up being, you know, 30 to 50 points instead of, you know, putting on big triangles where we're going to have uh, a carrot total weight or something like that. And um, really comes off super, super classy. It also looked very nice, set a little bit low with a halo around it. And then uh, a single, single shank from the side, keep diamonds going on that. And what I'd actually want to do with that is use very small diamonds uh, because we want to be able to keep this gem as the centerpiece and as the piece that people say wow about, right? So, and if we're putting like two and a half, three pointer diamonds, it gets to be a little big and little looks a little odd and a little clunky uh, if you put diamonds that are too large around it, unless you're gonna start getting into like doing a scallop set or something like that. And that's a whole other thing, not scallop set, but a scallop style ring uh, from the outside, which is a whole other thing. And then we're wanting to use like three to five pointers and you know, it's a whole other, it's a completely different piece. It would look absolutely stunning like that as well, right? We're going to do a scallop and then you bezel set the emerald scallop uh, style around the, around the outside of it. And again, you have a gorgeous piece, but it's something a little, that's a little large actually for, for somebody who would want to be wearing this as a engagement ring that you want to wear every single day. Um, depends on the person. Some people have uh, not just the size of fingers, but the size of personality to, to pull that off. Take a look at this coming around. Absolutely a stunner of a gem. As I said earlier, the stone does have a GIA certificate. You can view that as well as some more photos of the gem, full description of the gem, and of course have the ability to purchase it on our website via the link in the description. So do be sure to check that out. Uh, this video continues on there. So you can just take note of, uh, of that and continue on from there. Beautiful piece. As I said, it's going to set up exceptionally well. It's going to make a absolutely exquisite piece of jewelry. And uh, again, like I said, reach out to me, david at skygems.ca, if you do want to have that done. Um, jewelry like this, you know, I say all the time, jewelry says something about you. Uh, and when you're willing to, especially with an engagement ring, right, if you're willing to be that bold and that different and uh, set yourself apart and say, oh, all of you over there, you guys are all doing uh, diamond rings. You know, oh, all my friends over here, I'll have diamonds. Yeah, you know what? Not for me. Thanks. Yeah, diamonds are beautiful. Absolutely. Lovely rings you have. This is me. I'm just going to do my own thing here. And uh, you guys do your thing. I'm going to do mine. And be different and, you know, set yourself apart and wear a gem as beautiful as this. Getting back to the gem and away from talking about you and how different you are, uh, I put the gem onto its table on the turntable so you can take a look at just how magnificent this stone is. Take a look at that. Beautiful cutting on it. Really beautiful proportions. Lovely angles. It really checks all the boxes. And as I said before, GIA certified. I mean, this is an incredible piece. Just take a look at that. That's incredibly beautiful Colombian emerald color. It's a rich, rich saturation and is really just going to blow people away. I mean, they're going to see it from across the room and it just poof, sparkles green right at you. It's amazing. So the next stop on the tour of this incredible gem 
I've put it into this mock solitaire setting here. This is uh, just a gem holder. Kind of sort of gives you an idea of what it'll look set up, look like set up. Just want to give you, you know, kind of a basic, very quick rundown on how gorgeous it'll look once it's set into a ring. This is not the setting that I would recommend, um, but this is, you know, kind of how the mock ring holder comes out. Alrighty, now for the last stop on the tour, I wanted to show you a good close up of the stone, show you just how gorgeous it is. Take a look at that. You get to take a look at the inclusions a little bit this way. Uh, if you don't know too much about emeralds, emeralds always have inclusions in them. This is actually fairly clean for an emerald of this kind of color saturation. The more saturated an emerald is, the more inclusions it has. The reason for the inclusions is because the elements that give emeralds their color are chromium and vanadium, each of which are much smaller than the barrel molecules, the host barrel molecules of the crystal. So what happens is as the gems get color in them and, and as the chromium and or vanadium uh, comes into the uh, comes into the crystal as it's growing, uh, it knocks out the, the barrel molecules and as the gem continues to grow in the earth, there's additional stress on the gem and that's what that's what uh, makes the inclusions and gives us what we call a jardin in uh, in emeralds. And that is why the gem, uh, that's why emeralds are more or less always uh, treated to enhance their clarity. This particular stone is an F1 treatment, which is minor. Uh, that's usually when people are talking about untreated emeralds, there's very, very, very few of them in the entire world. Uh, there's almost no untreated Colombian emeralds in the world. Uh, even the, um, the Rockefeller emerald, uh, which was about $300,000 a carat, over a $5 million gem, U.S., uh, sold, and it had minor enhancement to it. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't untreated. So when a $5 million gem sells and uh, is selling with treatment, it's, you know, it more or less says that we're expecting that Colombian emeralds are going to have treatment, and there's just not really much way around that. Now, if you are in the Toronto area or you're going to be in the Toronto area, you'd like to come in, take a look at this or any of our other gems, I would love to have you. You can reach out to me at david at skygems.ca to book an appointment. Please be sure to uh, give yourself at least two, three days to, uh, to book an appointment because I'm usually booking at least that far in advance. And that way I can get you in for, at a time that works for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. And don't forget to tell your friends about skygems.ca. Bye for now.